What's up guys, we're back at the lab today and in this workout, we're gonna be working on our core, but specifically how we can tap into the front side of the body as we're doing these side bends. So we're gonna start things out like we've been doing. We're gonna do some isos. Uh, we're gonna be holding a coiled posture on our right side or left side for about 30 seconds each. We'll probably do two sets of this. We're gonna be uh, using the Bozu Elite today to start things out. If you don't have one yet, of course you can just use the floor for these drills. I'm also gonna be incorporating the use of a kettlebell. If you do not have the kettlebell, uh, you could clinch your hands together in a fashion similar to this. So the move we're gonna be starting with is sort of this, uh, it's gonna look a lot like a, a bicycle crunch, but we're gonna keep our feet sort of on the ground as we do it, at least our uh, one side. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, I'm gonna get my butt kind of low, lower on the, um, Bozo lead of the dome here. I'm gonna hug the kettlebell, so I come underneath of it, sort of like a football. I'm gonna grab the handle uh, with that sort of underhand grip, and then I'm gonna grab the top here, like so. And that's gonna let those elbows sort of create that nice blade action. I'm gonna go ahead and set this posture. I'm gonna pull this leg up nice and hard. I'm gonna crunch up, and I'm gonna try to pull that uh, kettlebell apart from both sides. That's gonna spread those elbows apart. I'm gonna keep my neck nice and long and I'm gonna really be contracting down uh, into these abs or these external obliques on this right side. Trying to keep my neck nice and long. We're gonna hold this position for about 30 seconds. So again, I really like using the Bozu. You could use this uh, on the ground, but I do like sort of this like incline position on this. And I like that that Bozu is sort of pushing back into my low back. It's helping me keep my posture a little better. And we'll just breathe through this. I'm trying to bring this knee across the body, this right knee. And that right knee and this uh, left elbow is sort of reaching towards the same point ahead of me. All right, guys, cool. All right, so we hit uh, that first side. Again, we're really feeling this side body here. We're holding that isometric posture in there. We're gonna hit this other side. And I'm gonna get sort of like down the slope of the dome of this. My right leg is gonna go out straight. That left knee is gonna cut up and across as I sort of hug and pull in uh, this kettlebell. So again, I like this little almost like football grip with it. If you didn't have it, you could just clench your hands together. We're gonna to cut that knee across the center line. I'm spreading that kettlebell apart. I'm trying to pull it apart. I'm even pressing the ball in, or the, the ball of the bell uh, into my abs. And we're trying to keep that neck nice and long. This left shoulder is super low. It's trying to reach towards that left hip right now. And I'm feeling that really deep contraction on that left side body. Oh, and I'm working with that shape of that dome to help this make this a little more of an attainable posture. And I'm getting that feedback uh, from the air within it. Help me keep my position. Again, we're going about 30 seconds. I think we're there. That's about 30 there. Yeah, we go uh, through this at least another round, sometimes two more, but we're just really establishing uh, this nice side bend, really feeling the depth of that. We're gonna use that information uh, in a little bit of a work set now. All right, guys, moving into a little work set here. We're gonna be doing four sets of four reps. We wanna keep these movements super controlled. We're kind of keeping the volume uh, low because of that. So we're gonna really uh, try to set these intense within this. So we're gonna be doing, uh, you're gonna need a bar. Uh, and again, I'm gonna be using the Bozu Elite today. You could uh, technically do this over like a pillow if you had to, to get this little extra range of motion uh, that I'm talking about, but it's not gonna be quite as nice as using a dome uh, like a Bozu ball. Um, we're gonna start things out. We're gonna be doing this hanging sort of uh, knees to pits is what we'll call this. And I'll kind of demo what's gonna be happening just standing here on the ground, but the hands are gonna be uh, overhead. Obviously I'm hanging. And what's gonna be happening is when I'm in that full extension, my heels are gonna be sort of flicked out to the side. I'm gonna be feeling this engagement in my low back a little bit. And then as I go to pull the knees up, I'm gonna lower down. I'm gonna bring the heels in together and then that's gonna be spreading the, knee, the knees apart and it's gonna be really getting those pits, uh, those knees right up into my armpits. So that was it on the ground. We're gonna go ahead and get up uh, on the bar here. So I'm gonna get into this full extension. I like this low bar like this. It sort of lets me touch the ground and set that first position. So the heels are super wide. The shoulders are really pinned down low. I'm feeling this contraction in my low back right now. As I go to pull up the knees, 
I'm gonna bring the heels in and I'm pulling those knees right to my uh, armpits. We'll lower back down. The heels are gonna spread as the shoulders go down towards my hips and then right back up. <sighs> knees to pits, right back down. So you're seeing that nice uh, rotation and steering through my hips. <sighs> and you'll see how those knees are getting spread apart at the top. The knees are sort of coming together in this uh, internally rotated hip at the bottom. <sighs> so I'm feeling those abs, those obliques at the top. And then I'm really feeling my lats pinned down here at the bottom. <sighs> Big squeeze and hold right back down and spread. All right, so we get our four reps there, really feeling that transition uh, from that low back or that extension into that nice flexion into the front body at the top and really getting those knees to try to reach for those armpits. Uh, second move we're gonna do, very similar. We're gonna just kind of remove that ability to extend as much. We're gonna kind of make it a little more wound up like a crunch uh, or a sit up. So we'll have the bent leg here. And what's gonna happen is as I go over the dome, okay, so as I go over the dome for like a crunch, I'm gonna spread the heels, the knees are gonna touch. I'm feeling that same sort of lat contraction as I'm over the dome. As I crunch up, I'm gonna bring the heels together, spread the knees, and again, I'm sort of on this trajectory to get the pits towards my knees, and right back down, the knees touch, the knees spread. And I'm getting this nice little pivot through the outside of my foot to help assist in this. So lats. Oh, pulling it into the abs. I'm gonna go for one more rep. They're feeling that good extension. When I'm over the dome like this, I'm pulling the, my low back into the dome and the shoulders into the, bone, uh, the dome. So I'm sort of compressing the ball in that back position. I'm pivoting, I'm pushing down into the dome and I'm driving those uh, pits right towards those knees. So again, we do about four sets of four reps of this. Nice smooth movement little pauses at each of the end ranges of motion within them. And then we're gonna move into some accessory work. All right guys, moving into some accessory work. We're gonna be doing two drills. This is about three to five sets, eight to 12 reps, uh, and potentially um, 30 to 60 seconds on uh, a pulsing drill we're gonna do here. So you are gonna wanna have your Propulse Speed Trainers if you have them. If not, you can mimic the arm action without them. Uh, and then we're gonna be using a small ballast ball as well. So any a small inflatable ball like this, we're gonna use it for a walking compression, uh, compression uh, crunch. So uh, two drills, we're actually gonna start with this uh, walking compression crunch. I'll show this from two different angles. I'll kind of walk across the screen and then I'll walk at you guys. There's two key things I want you to be seeing when you do this. Uh, we're going to do a cross first, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to grab the ball, really clinch down on it right here in the center. I'm already sort of feeling like my abs engage as I pop the ball, give it a big hug, right? And then what's going to happen is I'm going to take a step forward with my right foot. As I do that, I'm going to sort of almost roll over the ball a little bit and do this standing crunch. So I'm still staying very tall, trying to pop that. I'm feeling that all in that right side ab. Okay, we'll come back to the center, keeping that tension. We're gonna step with the left, do the same thing. Again, I don't want you to over, kind of crunch over that or roll over it. We're trying to stay really, really tall as we crunch down. Back to the center, we step, that slight roll over, really feeling that side bend on that right side. You'll even see my, uh, my feet are sort of pigeon toed. I'm still getting this nice spread between my elbows. I'm gonna do one more on the other side and then we'll give you a different direction. Oh, good. And just like uh, most of the work we've been doing uh, at the end here, we're transitioning from the right side to the left side. That's uh, this rotational movement we're playing around with. So you're gonna see that from this front shot now. So in the center, I'm stepping to the right. I'm rolling over the right side. I'm squeezing that ball, really getting into that right side body. I'm gonna come back to the center. I step to the left, rolling over, but still staying tall. I'm sort of keeping my eyes on a target. You're gonna see how my right elbow is really reaching towards you guys now. I'll do one more on each side, meet in the center. Right, that roll over. Trying to pop that ball as hard as you can. It's gonna meet everybody right where they're at. And we do that left side. Good, all right. So again, about eight to 12 uh, alternating reps with that. Second to that, we're gonna do about uh, around 30 to 60 seconds 
of a pulsing drill I really like. So uh, something that we do, it's called a pop rock, sort of hold this uh, hamburger position as we call it. Kind of uh, feels like you're holding a sandwich or a hamburger. And we're gonna sort of do this pulse from one shoulder to the other, meeting right in the middle, getting that good feedback, that good sound for the pulser. We're gonna apply those principles and we're gonna do it on the ground in a hollowed position, uh, which is then gonna turn into a flutter kick position. So I'm lying flat on my back. I'm gonna crunch up slightly or get into that nice hollow. I'm thinking about the body being extremely long here, okay? Feet are pointed. I'm gonna take the pulsers right at uh, the belt line or the hips. I'm gonna act like I'm making that sort of uh, hamburger position, right? So those wrists are cocked back like I'm uh, gonna eat a sandwich. I got it there. I'm gonna go ahead and lift the feet off the ground. I'm gonna start a pop rock. So hit, 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 shoulder to shoulder. And then as I get comfortable with that, as I draw it up to one side, that leg's gonna flutter up slightly, and then it's gonna hit and switch as I flutter. And then we're gonna be able to pick up the speed here. So we're gonna go about 30 seconds. Here we go. But they're short, powerful pulses. Timing up that flutter kick with that arm action. Ooh. Definitely one of my favorite ab exercises right now. Whew. All right, cool. So that's about 30 seconds. We run that. We'll head uh, back to these uh, walking, sort of standing, rolling compression crunches. We do this again for about three to five sets, about eight to 12 reps of that walk, and then about 30 to 60 seconds on that pulse. All right. So. Great job on this workout today. Again, we had this nice core focus, really trying to tap into this front side of the body, feeling it sort of in this nice side bend uh, and relating it to the middle. We'll see you guys next time.